In May 2016, 20-year-old Michael Sanford's parents reported that he had gone missing in America. 23 days later, he turned up at a Donald Trump campaign rally in Las Vegas. Shortly after Trump took to the stage, Michael approached a police officer. Seconds later, he attempted to grab the officer's gun. When questioned by the Secret Service, Michael stated he'd wanted to shoot and kill Trump, saying he was a racist that deserved to die. No, I understand that. Do you think what you're doing is right? It's not. If you want to kill somebody, it makes you wrong. That makes you wrong. This is America, land of the free, right? Everybody should be able to entitle what they want to say and do, right? Well, I mean, with no. no, everyone is entitled. This is America. Right. That's the rule. That's no when someone's right. Everyone's entitled to say what they want to say. Freedom of speech. Doesn't mean it's right, though. If someone's okay, racist, you know what? No they need to change the Constitution. How would you use the Constitution correctly? I'm not here to debate. I'm telling you that if violence is wrong. I disagree with that. This is not a hardened criminal. This is just a young kid who found himself in an awful situation. He tried to assassinate him. He was a wolf in sheep's clothing. When Michael was about eight, his mood started to change. They were quite erratic at times. He seemed to become quite depressive and quite angry. Hello? 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 I wondered if, um, because by then I'd split up with his father. I wondered if it was some anger at the, the breakup. But his, his mood swings and erratic nature were starting to concern me by then. It says Michael Sanford, my autobiography, age 13. I'm wondering what the world is coming to. They say the world will end when the sun blows up in five billion years, but I believe humans will destroy it long before then. That was something he was very worried about. He was very worried about mankind. I guess that's been mirrored by what he said about Donald Trump. He thought Donald Trump was the worst thing for the world. When Michael was 13, he was diagnosed with Asperger's, a condition associated with difficulties in social interaction. At secondary school, he was bullied. He deliberately tried to run out in front of cars sometimes so that in the hope he would get knocked over to avoid going to school. I very much feel the system failed Michael. I took him for help so many times over so many years and nobody did anything until it became almost too late. Aged 14, Michael developed severe anorexia as a result of his OCD and had to be sectioned to a psychiatric hospital. Certainly, it's a very complex case. The government will be arguing that this was not something that was a spur of the moment type of crime. This was something that he had been, uh, that had been calculated. I started filming when I saw guards tackling somebody. They're just dragging him out of there like he's a rag doll. Thank you, thank you, officers. It's like, whoa, like, what did he do? There is this anger. Because Michael Sanford could have altered the course of American history. Thank you. He didn't look like a murderer. He was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Maybe he got radicalized. Somebody can come in here and they have the opportunity to kill our future president of the United States. That's very nice, thank you. I By think you way, have to send a strong message, Donald Trump style. The judge has to give him the maximum. 